What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I am here to do the Quick Hit Scouting Report video uh, that I mentioned in my previous video, my Roster Moves video that I'm going to make for you today. This one is for the Tennessee Titans. Uh, I've only got two videos for Week 14 because obviously we don't have very many teams left on our schedule, and so therefore not very much use or need for... Um, you know, these videos. So our, we are running out, but I am finding other ways to make some content for you. But for here and now, I still do have a couple left to do, so let's dive right in. The Tennessee Titans moved to 9-4 and four on the season after beating the now 2-11 and 11 Jacksonville Jaguars 20-0. to zero. And they did pretty much control this uh, the entire way through. Now look, just real quick, I do want to say... Uh, one of the reasons why I'm a little bit on the fence, actually, I'll get to that in a minute. Let me go ahead through this. So Tennessee had 263 total yards. Jacksonville had 192. They had 161 through the air, allowing 184. They had 102 on the ground, only allowing eight rushing yards to the, to the Jags. Both teams are 3.8 yards per play. Neither team lost a fumble. Jacksonville threw the four interceptions. Uh, Tennessee allowed four sacks. Jacksonville allowed three. Tennessee was 40% on third down. Jacksonville 38. Tennessee had the ball for 36-57. Jacksonville 23-03. Tennessee had two penalties. Jacksonville had nine. All right. Tannehill was 20 of 31 for 191 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Deontay Foreman, 13 rushes, 47 yards, a touchdown, and a 3-6. Tannehill, 4 rushes, 29 yards, a touchdown, and a 7-3. Jeremy McNichols, 8 rushes, 16 yards, and a 2 average. Dontre Dontrell Hilliard, 6 rushes, 13 yards, and a 2-2. Two -two. Receiving, Joff Swaim led the way, 3 of 4, 45. Anthony Ferkser, 4 of 5, 34. Julio Jones, who they did get back for this game, 4 of 6 for 33. Nick Westbrook Akine, 3 of 3 for 31. Deontay Foreman, 2 of 2 for 15. And Chester Rogers, 1 for 13. So what I was going to say is, is that part of the reason why I'm a little bit on the fence for this game, now I, I've had this as a loss the entire season, but what has gotten me on the fence is, is in part... Uh, you know, part it, part of it has had to do with, you know, the Dolphins' resurgence, particularly on defense, over the past few weeks, of course, and the fact that we are now on, a, you know, a five-game win streak, etc. But a part of it has also been because the, the Tennessee Titans have been really banged up. And, you know, when I was watching this game on Sunday, I think they mentioned that, you know, they have the most amount of players on injured reserve this season with like 36 or some shit like that. It's an outrageous amount. And so, you know, that does play a factor, although they do seem to be getting healthier and are likely to be relatively healthy by the time we have to play them, at least so far as to say that, you know, Julio Jones is back. They might have A.J. Brown back by then. There's a possibility they even could have Derrick Henry back by then as, you know, there was reports out that Derrick Henry could look to make a return sooner than the full 6 to 10 weeks or really the full 10 weeks because it, by then it'll have been like 8 or 9 weeks into his recovery. And like I said, dude, I told you guys, now look, have they struggled a little bit since losing Derrick Henry? Yes, but also, you know, the other playmakers on offense doesn't help. The fact that they've had offensive linemen get injured and they've had a few, right? So none of that stuff helps. Um, anyway, let me let me get to the rest of these stats, and then I'll talk about that a little more. Trevor Lawrence, 24-40, 2-21, four interceptions. James Robinson, six, he led the way, six rushes, four yards, a point seven. Obviously, they only had eight yards of rushing. Marvin Jones, six of seven for 70. Laquan Treadwell, four of six, 68. LaVisca Chenault, four of seven, 34. James O'Shaughnessy, four of six, 21. And Tavon Austin, three of five for 17. Um, but yeah, so um, there have been a number of injuries, right? And they've had some defensive players, too, get injured, which it hasn't helped them. So you know, they are certainly one of the top injured teams in the league, and that doesn't help. But they are still 9-4, and four, and they are still taking care of business. And I know like people like to shit on Ryan Tannehill, but I think Ryan Tannehill's done just fine. Obviously, his previous two seasons with the Tennessee Titans, he had great statistics over the course of those seasons. 
Um, you know, they made it to the AFC Championship game last year, right? Et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I, I think the hate for Ryan Tannehill, just like the hate for Tua, to me, is outrageous. Like, it just it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so, but unfortunately, it looks like the Tennessee Titans very well could be relatively healthy by the time we have to play them, which isn't good for us. I, like I said, I am still on the fence with that game. And I'm leaning towards the Titans still uh, as far as an outcome. But, you know, I'll wait to obviously make my prediction until we get to that game. That's not till week 17. We still do have a few weeks to go. Anyway, let's take a look at this, though, because the league standings are not particularly great for us. Um, you know, when it comes to matchups and stuff like that, they are a pretty good team. Overall, <coughs> they are in the top half in most categories. They are currently now, just real quick too, after tonight's Monday night game gets played, the Cardinals and the Rams, this will officially be the end of all bye weeks. Um, all bye weeks will have been taken, and so all teams will have been fully caught up and have played a full 13 games, and for the rest of the way, things will be even again. And so... You won't see as many discrepancies in things, you know, between total yards and per game averages anymore. So the Titans are currently 17th in total yards uh, with 4,513 and 347.2 per game. They're 23rd in passing with 2,976 on the season, 228.9 per game. That's in part because obviously they've you know, had injuries on the offensive line and the wide receiver room. They lost Derrick Henry, which takes away a lot of their offense. It opens up the passing game, right, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and obviously, to be fair and to be clear, Ryan Tannehill is not a Patrick Mahomes or a Lamar Jackson or, you know, even an Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady, right? So obviously uh, having lost so much does hurt them and does hurt him. But it's also in part because they are a rush first team. They are fifth in the league with 1,791 total yards, 137.8 per game. They're 15th or 14th after ties when it comes to points with 324 on the season, 24.9 per game. They, um, and that's part of the reason why I'm not sure that we're going to be able to beat the Titans because they are averaging at least above, slightly above the league average about 25 points per game and as we've seen the Dolphins have a serious issue with even getting to 20 let alone 24 points and so you know anyway um, but they're and they're they're pretty good on third down with their third down offense they're currently 14th in the league with 40.8 percent conversion percentage defensively now you know when it comes to passing that is an area that could potentially be exploited but overall they are a damn good defense they're currently 13th in yards per game with 341.6. They're 26th in passing with uh, 269.9. They're second in rushing with with 90.9. Uh, they're 15th or 13th after ties in points per game with 22.3. They're currently 12th in takeaways with 18 or 10th after ties. They're 9th in interceptions with 13 on the season, 6th after ties. 23rd in fumbles with 5, 8th after ties. They're 12th in sacks with 32, 6th after ties. And they're 3rd in passes defensed at 68. And they're 13th on 3rd down defense, 38.7. So... Honestly, and this is why I'm leaning a little bit towards the Titans in this game because they have a defense that should be able to, I, as much as I hate to say it and, you know, as much as it sucks and Dolphins fans don't want to hear it, they have a defense that could keep us under the minimum or under the league average, you know, maybe even potentially under 20 points. And then, you know, their offense, especially if they do start to get guys back like they've already got Julio Jones, if they do get A.J. Brown and any of those offensive linemen, and God forbid if Derrick Henry is to come back and be back for that game, then, you know, it could be a potential, you know, issue for us, especially in that case. But either way, they're probably, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I mean, as of right now, they still, even without Henry, they still have a better run game than us. You know, I still think that um, overall their receivers are generally better because really all we have is Waddle and Hollins. I guess Devontae Parker since he's back. Anyway, 
Here are the Dolphins' current offensive and defensive league standings through week 14. Obviously, we had our bye, so we didn't play, but this is where we are at currently. All right, and that is going to wrap it up, so I'm going to get out of here. But before I do, make sure you check out the Rave on Sports app, the new fan-driven sports app for all of your sports, whether it be basketball, baseball, football, college sports, whatever you like, they got it. And they're looking to enhance your game day experience with live play-by-play -play coverages, live chats with other fans and content creators like myself. And look for the description box for the links to that. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comments section. And of course, as always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro, as well as Instagram at Dolphins underscore with underscore Dylan. And with that, I'm out. I'll see you all soon. Fins up.